my Telugu one viewers. Today we have a very special recipe for all of you. For making this suji halwa, the ingredients are fairly simple. You must remember that suji is the main ingredient. So the count of the ingredients goes as 1, 2, 3 and 4. Which means for every 1 cup of suji, you will require half a cup of clarified butter or ghee, 2 cups of sugar and 2 cups of water. You may reduce the quantity of sugar according to your taste. You also need a teaspoon of powdered cardamom. I'm now going to switch on my stove. It is better if you use a heavy bottom or maybe a non-stick pan which is generally heavier in weight so that the suji or the rava that we are going to use does not burn. To this, when it is heated a little bit, I'm going to add my half a cup of clarified butter that is ghee. I'm using pure ghee here. I'm just going to stir it for a few seconds so that it melts completely. As you might have heard this halwa is served in temples or in gurdwaras and children really are fond of this halwa. I have a cup of suji here which I am going to mix in next. Now here the procedure will take a little long. Here is where you need a little patience because one needs to fry the suji in the clarified butter or in the ghee for about 8 to 10 minutes till it is completely brown but make sure that it does not burn for which I am going to reduce the flame I am using a wooden spatula for this and then put it on a slow heat it's important that we keep stirring it continuously and not leave it so that it fries evenly and there is a fine aroma actually when the suji starts frying the aroma that comes out, of course you cannot smell it, but then the aroma is going to be amazing. It's going to be delicious. Suji or rava has been frying for about a minute or two. It's important that we stir it continuously so that the color changes from a gentle golden brown to a dark brown. At this stage, I'm going to add my chopped nuts to the suji that is frying. Now if you are somebody who does not try, like fried nuts in their suji, you can omit this step and put the raw nuts at the end of the recipe, you can add it. Now our nuts will get fried along with the rava. And while our rava is frying, I'm going to put a bowl of water on the other side. I'm going to add this water that I have already measured and kept into this bowl. And add my And bring it to a boil. To this water I am also going to be adding my cardamom powder. You may add saffron to this if you like but generally 
the halwa, the suji halwa that the North Indians make, one does not add saffron to it. Remember to keep stirring the rava continuously. We want it a nice dark brown. Water has come to a boil now. So I will reduce the flame and let it simmer for a minute or two during which time my suji or rava will continue frying. Okay, now you can see that the suji is fried to a lovely brown shade and my water and sugar is also come to a boil. Now at this stage I am going to reduce the flame and slowly add the sugar water cardamom mixture to the fried suji or rava. It's important that this is done very slowly so that it doesn't splatter on us. Now I am going to increase the flame and let it cook for about a minute or a minute and a half and then our suji halwa will be ready to serve. Generally this is eaten hot because as it cools down it becomes dry but if you are somebody who likes it nice and chilled you can wait until it cools down completely. I am going to switch off the stove now and take it into a serving bowl so here is our delicious looking suji halwa ready to be served. You may offer it to God, you may offer it to your friends and family. That is how this halwa is always shared with everybody. Hope you enjoy it eating as much as I enjoyed making it for you. Thank you.